Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. Wow. <laughs> Look who's home today. <laughs> it's been a bit of a week. We've, the best of times and the worst of times, I think. So yeah. I'm home today. This is where the camera is on my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm home today unexpectedly. Uh, normally I would be working, but uh, on Saturday as I was working, I was feeling uh, more and more not well as the day was going on. And I've had another uh, flare-up of diverticulitis, which I've... <laughs> which I've had in the past. Um, so after two very uncomfortable days, I've tried to go back to work today and I'm still not feeling good. So actually I did the one thing that every wife loves. I woke Sandy up this morning and told her she needs to drive me to the hospital because um, I think we have to get this checked out. So um, I'm okay. I mean, I've had this before. Um, it's a little bit different this time. I had a lot of pain on the on the left side here. And that's why I decided to go in because it wasn't getting any better. So if you know much about diverticulitis, <laughs> yeah, well, Sandy wanted me to go in right away. But I absolutely hate uh, going to the emergency room. You sit there forever and ever and ever. And Nanaimo is the place where everybody comes to die in Canada. So we have a lot of older folks. The hospital is always very full, uh, very busy. But luckily, crazily enough, I went in. Today, and I was in and out in less than an hour, which is unheard like of. Like half an hour. He was so in and out. I should go out and buy my lottery tickets today because... <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, but uh, basically what happens is when you do get a flare-up, it's very painful. Um, I didn't have the most severe symptoms. Usually, like if you're throwing up or you have a high temperature um, or you're not able to go to the bathroom. Or um, blood in your stool. Or blood in your stool. You should go to the hospital. It can like be... Now. <laughs> it can be very serious. It can kill people. It's, it's nothing to be messed with. But um, it's so now that it's flared up, basically they've put me on antibiotics, which is what I need. So nice of him to say all this. Well, and and to actually, I'm hoping that this is actually getting well, through to him. Quite often, like like when I've had this in the past, after a day or two, it kind of resolves itself. It's it's almost like an attack. You get a flare up um, where things get inflamed, infected, really sore. And then it kind of works itself out. You're supposed to go on what they call a liquid diet or clear clear liquid diet for a few days to kind of settle everything down. But if it persists, normally I wouldn't have I wouldn't have bothered. But the fact that it was still two days later and I'm still having this pain in the side that I've not had before, which I'm assuming is my large intestine saying hello. <laughs> anyway, the but, bottom line okay, is. Okay, so just. To to tell you how stubborn he really is. I'm pretty stubborn. Yeah. Tell them what happened around six years ago on my birthday. Well, the last time I had this was on Sandy's birthday six years ago. And uh, Tia was over. And I didn't want to ruin Sandy's birthday. So we went out for dinner and we went to go see The Avengers, which is just about the longest movie in, ever yeah, made. Yeah, it was almost three hours. And <laughs> um, I was feeling worse and worse and worse during the movie, but I didn't want to say anything. And then... Uh, finally, and then we um, went kayaking. Or remember, we yeah, had, we had quite the day. Yeah. But uh, this thing tends to, when it flares up, it gets worse and worse and worse. And the biggest symptom I had that day is, is I was severely constipated and not able to go. And then when I finally did go, it was, uh, yeah, yeah. But he didn't say a damn word. We went kayaking for a couple hours after the movie. Well, you know, and then you don't want to spoil the birthday. <laughs> and then we get home and he says, um, just thought I'd mention, I think I need to go to the hospital. Yeah. I'm like, what, mm. what, 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 what? <laughs> And then he tells me what's really been going on. Well, even today, like you go in and the the nurse or the doctor, they're asking you, like, um, on the pain scale, what number would you give this? And I says, <laughs> well, I said, that scale doesn't work for me because what I would consider a three, most people would think they've had their arm chopped off and they'd be howling. Mm -hmm. So I said, it's, it's sore. It really hurts. It's been bugging me. I said, what convinced me was I went out door dashing today and... Um, my one delivery that I did before I decided to pack it in, I just getting in and out of the car was like, oh, oh. and I thought, well, I got to clean carpets. I was supposed to clean a couple of carpet cleaning jobs today. And I thought, doing you know, that one may not have been. Mm -hmm. So I hate to 
give in to Sandy, but anyway, I decided. <laughs> oh, he hates it. <laughs> so, so that's why we're home, but we have some news that we need to tell you. No. Um, so do we want to do good news or bad news? Well, I thought that was the bad news. Oh, well, that, oh there's well, other bad news. There's, yes. Well, there's other stuff. So yes, we, Sandy's we, birthday is in May. And um, so we got a very nice surprise by our um, Sandy's sister from another mister, Sandy Duda, uh, decided she was going to come out for the week and spend the week with Sandy. So fly out from Kansas City to Nanaimu, because that's probably <laughs> what they call it. Um, <laughs> It's We're Nanaimo. a very small uh, <laughs> place compared to where she's from, but she was going to actually fly out and spend yeah. the week with Sandy, and uh, Sandy was so looking forward to it. And then um, I'm working away thinking, you know, life is normal, and Sandy springs this little thing on me. She says, you know, <laughs> while Sandy's out here, this would be a really good time to get married. Um, so... Uh, that's what's happening. We're going to get married. So we, yeah, finally, yay. <laughs> on May 14th. May 14th. And we're my going, birthday's we're, on the 15th. So I don't so. have to get her anything for her birthday. <laughs> that's all covered. So then we sprang this on Sandy saying, because you're coming out, we wouldn't do with this otherwise. It's only yeah, because, <laughs> only because you're coming here that we're going to get married. So yeah, we so. were quite excited and we've, uh, we got, we lined up the marriage uh, commissioner. I keep saying counselor. Uh, commissioner. But hang on. Um, I asked Sandy to be my maid of honor. So, yeah. <laughs> so, and then it was like, well, I got to invite my mom. And my mom's 82 and she doesn't drive uh, much anymore. So, I had to invite my sister, which meant I had to invite my other sister. And then they've got kids. And then I've got my son. And then we got uh, Tia and James. And yeah. it just kept, we wanted to have just a, a basic, a little, nice little ceremony. This is official now. We're officially married, and we we're just going to go out for dinner. We didn't want to, like, A, spend a lot of money. B, we didn't want it to be a big, ta-da, wedding and stuff. I mean, if I had millions of dollars, yeah, sure, we'd rent the Hyatt. But Yeah, I'm, I'm um, not the one that started making it bigger than it was supposed Well, the to problem be. is, once you start inviting people, then you have to invite other people so their feelings don't get hurt. Yeah. And it just morphs into, so we were up to about maybe 20 people uh, that was planned, so... We announced it all. So then now Sandy realizes, like, holy smokes, uh, this is all happening, like, in, like, four weeks. So she's in panic mode because yeah. our house is stacked <laughs> to the rafters with uh, crafting stuff. Yeah. Uh, basically, if you go out down into our basement, all you'll see is Sandy's uh, crafting projects from years gone by and just stuff everywhere. It was, well, so, you guys have seen the video. It's yeah. A, it was a yeah. disaster. So she got busy down there. And then unfortunately, um, once she started moving things away from the wall, one of our basement walls, we discovered we had some mold going on there. So we're not sure if we may have a moisture problem coming through one of our walls. So it was, so we're still in the process of, Having that diagnosed, so then we thought, mm -hmm. well, Sandy panicked because that's what Sandy does. So before we even had a chance to well, see how much right? of an There's... issue this was, she phoned Sandy and said, I don't think it's a good idea for you yeah. to just come out and stay here because mm -hmm. we have this mold. And this was going to be in the room where Sandy was going to be mm -hmm. sleeping. So unfortunately, Sandy had to cancel her trip. But we are still going to go through uh, with the wedding. It wasn't enough to get me out of the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we are going to do that we're going to film it because sandy films everything and this will be presented on an upcoming episode of uh of sandy's channel so we're going to film the ceremony um i don't think we're going to stream it live or anything but we'll well, I, definitely... thought, I thought about it but then i thought you know I don't know how to do that for one thing but what i'm planning on doing if all goes well um, I'm planning on videotaping it on one camera and then having Sandy on a live, like on a, uh, messenger chat live so that she's actually there for the ceremony. Well, there, but not Well, there. then she could stream it live to everybody. Sandy no. knows how to do that. No, you can only stream it if you're oh. here. Oh, okay. Right. So, um, so I will be videoing it for you guys. And you'll be able to watch then, our wedding. It's only yeah. nineteen ninety five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it with you and the money? Like seriously. <laughs> um, 
so anyways i'm gonna videotape it and then hopefully if i can actually get it to all work i'll have her on a different um phone uh so that she can be there and um so we've scaled yeah. it down to um it's going to be um uh, my son Nick and my granddaughter are going to be there. And is it who's on your side? My sister. Oh yeah, Dan, Charlene and husband. Dan, her sister-in-law. You know uh, Charlene. Yeah. And her husband Dan. So, and then we're we just going to two witnesses. Yeah. Then so. we're just going to go out for dinner or something, yeah. and and probably go to work the next day like nothing ever. Who knows? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> like nothing ever happened. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not fundamentally going to change. You know, yeah. obviously our feelings for each other or. Anything else, it's just to get the legalities out of the way, get Sandy some security, yeah. you know, now that we've had this another close brush with death today or whatever. Oh. Um, so I get these little reminders that I'm not 20 years old anymore, but yeah. basically I don't get this very often. The last time was about six years ago. So, I mean, we're probably going to have to make some dietary adjustments. Um, yeah. I'm a big meat and potatoes guy, and apparently if you eat a lot of red meat, it's it's one of the triggers. But really what happened is Sandy ordered some Indian food. And uh, oh, sure, throw me under she the bus. <laughs> poisoned me with the spicy Indian food. And that's, I think, what really contributed to this. Because <laughs> One of the things with me is one of the problems with diverticulitis is spicy food is, is a big trigger in some people. But it's funny. I can have wasabi all day long when we have sushi yeah. and have no problem. But it's when I have Indian food though. or whatever... Um, it really aggravates this, and yeah. so anyway, there's other things that aggravate him too, like political correctness. No, um, like oh <laughs> cucumbers. <laughs> oh my god! You know, like yeah. he can't have cucumbers. Well, like, Sandy's been on the internet things. all day this morning now, discovering mm -hmm. what it, you know. If I had to live with everything they said I couldn't have, I'd just kill myself now because it's like no red meat, no alcohol, no um, yeah. well. The funny thing is, is I've been telling her for years, I don't, I'm not a big vegetable person and she's been shoving vegetables down me <laughs> and it says, oh no, no cruciferous vegetables, no broccoli, no cauliflower, no raw vegetables. And I'm, I've been telling her, but she wouldn't yeah, listen. Yeah, almost every time I make dinner, I'm putting raw vegetables on because yeah. I want him to get his vegetables They're hard to right? digest but... though when you have. The other thing is, so we're going to start doing some... Um, Digestive enzymes and a few other things. I've never been a huge um, supplement or or drug guy. I've always believed in the natural way and all of that stuff, and it's, yeah. it's always served me well. But uh, yeah, you get a day or two like this, and it's uh, it's up. not a lot of fun. Yeah. So well, the funny thing is, is I have diverticulitis as well, but I am nowhere near as bad as him. Um, but I have like I have other stuff, like I've got um, hiatal hernia. I have acid reflux disease. I, you know, so she's got a million things wrong with yeah, her. <laughs> so my stomach is just trashed, yeah. right? So I'm technically I'm supposed to be watching what I eat, <laughs> but a lot of times I don't, right? So now it's a wake up call for me as well because I'm thinking, well, okay, I have. To, I'm thinking I'm eating smart, eating vegetables and and all this stuff, but it's obviously hurting him. Well, so we unfortunately, to too, that. when you you look at various information and they all kind of contradict each other, which yeah. drives you crazy, too. It's weird. But it's always it's the same stuff as they always tell you. Um, don't drink too much alcohol. Well, guilty. Um, <laughs> um, try to get try to get lots of exercise. Guilty. Um, you know, um, this, you know. You know, try try to lose weight and all that. Well, we're both kind of guilty. We yeah. both are probably heavier than we should be, especially with <laughs> after the two years of COVID yeah. and no paddling and stuff. But I mean, physical activity for me, I'm the most physically active person I know. So that's not a problem. I think if we get the diet thing under control, um, and we're going to have to probably not eat red meat as much as we do, which is like seven days a week. So we're going to cut it down to six days a week. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I have no problem. I've been asking him for a long time to cut down on the red meat. And he's like, ah, ah, ah. you know, we've got a freezer full of red meat. Well, we buy right? so, sides of beef and a yeah. whole cow from a farmer. So it's natural. It's really, it's beautiful stuff. But we're, uh, she also does pork. So we're going to have to maybe get pork from her and maybe not buy a whole we've tried cow with her before at a time. We tried 
We tried a few things. No, the pork was things. good. We liked the pork chops and everything we got from her. Uh, the problem is when you get pork, you don't get as much as like when you get a whole cow. It fills up yeah. your freezer. And then we still have some fish from when we went fishing and stuff. So Yeah. Uh, so it's, so just, it's been a bit of a trial. Yeah, it's thing, so know? much it's like, fun when you get on the other side of sixty. All the bad uh, stuff hey, starts to happen. I'm not there yet. <laughs> well, Sandy's just a young, young pup, you know. But, uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'll take that. She doesn't even color her hair or anything. I mean, look at her, right? So <laughs> coming for the guy that doesn't have any hair. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, so <clears throat> yeah, so it's been. Uh, I've had I've cried my tears about Sandy not yeah, coming. It's too bad. Um, I actually did a video chat with her and just cried. <laughs> and uh, you know she's she's all upset too. But we both know that you know black mold is not something to be messed with. And um, you know she has medical issues as well. So we don't want to take a chance. I would and I'm she knows me. She knows that I would be worried like constantly if she came um so and then she says well i could just be in a hotel room and i'm like ah, no <laughs> like, well a whole week no. in a hotel at whatever a hundred and whatever dollars oh, a night right like yeah it's, like it's not no i can't do that um so we're just gonna although there are out. several nice motels actually really close by yeah but they're just expensive as hell so mm. Well, some um, of them are a little, <laughs> yeah, a little, a little sketchy. sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> we but, live in an interesting place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're a beautiful waterfront community. and Tourism is really big here, but unfortunately we've been invaded by rampaging hordes of zombies that have come from everywhere that have kind of <laughs> taken over our town. And we're not allowed yeah. to shoot them in the head like you watch on Walking Dead. There's laws <laughs> against that here. Anyways. So. <laughs> okay. So, and that's what our... So that's the news. I mean... Honestly, we're very happy. It's high time we got married. I mean, Sandy's Only eight year probationary years. period is over now. She's passed, she has one more test to pass, and then I think we'll be good. So, and that would be mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been six years. We've been engaged, we've been together for eight. Yeah, it's you know, I think we've kind of figured out we want to yeah. keep each other. She has me. Sandy has me. If you want to know how much this woman has changed me, um, there's another video coming up soon where I'm going to show you all the hats that I made. She actually has me crafting. <laughs> if you would have told any of my rugby buddies or anybody that knows me that I would be making hats and crank, you know, cranking out hats and all excited, oh, look what I look at my whips and, and all the goofy stuff. Like, she's actually got me doing this stuff. So We went to Michael's the I'm other turning... day, and he, act, he actually was the one that picked out the funnel cakes. Yes. You know, he says, oh, look at this. You should get this. This is nice. I'm advancing I'm like, my yarnology all the time. I'm like, what the yeah, heck I'm is getting a little worried. Here? I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> But, I'm like, I don't know who he is. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's like, I'm glad he's doing it because it gives, like, especially when he's home, right, like, right now, he's going squirrely. Yeah. You know, he doesn't know how to relax. He no. doesn't know how to sit down. No. He doesn't, he just paces, you know, and he gets antsy and then he gets angry and then, he, you know, he's just hard to live with. So this gives him something to do. It gives him... It's horrible it can, having a man that wants to work all the time. Well, no, it's and not that. It's make just, money. you've got nervous energy, you know, yeah. and, you know, and, and the doctor at the hospital did say that your blood pressure was up a little bit. So... But I'm getting married soon, so that's it be under, it's understandable, right? <laughs> I need something to smack mm -hmm. him with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, anyway. so we will keep you posted. Yeah. We will get the video out there. Um, so May 14th, mark May it on 14th. your calendar. Still plenty of time to send gifts, presents, or hey, cash. Stop! <laughs> <Good> grief. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's our big news. Yay! Yay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, not that anybody really probably cares, but... Yeah. Well, listen, there's been nothing but bad news. For two years, yeah. we've had nothing but bad news and misery and everything else. It's nice that something nice is going to happen. 
um, for us. So yeah. So. We're going to invite all our friends. They're all going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so, but uh, I know that people are going to be asking about it. And, you know, so I figured, yes, we're going to videotape it. It's probably not, it's not going to be long. It's not going to be huge. It's it won't just, be as long as this video. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, and um, we have to tell you one more thing. Oh, we do? So we went out to get wedding rings. Oh, God. Um, oh, yeah. And I got the video we, clip. Yeah. Yeah, Sandy has a video clip. So we went to every jewelry store in Nanaimo, pretty much. Yeah. And there's no jewelry store anywhere in Nanaimo that can find a ring that can fit that. Yeah. So apparently I have monster-sized hands. Look. Um, uh, the standard size in every jewelry store is a size 10. I don't think I could get a size 10 on my baby finger. I don't know who these men are with yeah. size 10 hands, but so we, um, we kept hearing, well, we'd have to have it specially made and there's no way we could possibly have that in time for your wedding. Cause six yeah. weeks is nowhere near enough time. Yeah. So we would pretty much given up hope. And then we went back to <laughs> one of the stores we'd already was at. And there was a different person there who turned out to be the manager. And all she said was, absolutely, we will have that ring for you. You pick out a ring. I guarantee yeah. you, we will have it on time. It's going to happen. So we did find a ring that we, there was two that we liked. I wanted them both, but I had to pick one. <laughs> so we picked the one that we liked. Of course, we'll show you those. And we got the wedding band for Sandy to match her spectacular engagement ring that I'm still paying for. Um, <laughs> And um, <laughs> and we'll show you that too on today. But I couldn't believe that oh, that there was. We live in a town where there's like you know, fishermen and lumberjacks and construction guys and men like not these you know, size ten guys. I don't even know who these people. Are. I probably was a size ten in grade eight or something. I don't know who these these yeah. people are that these rings are supposedly for. But uh, and I'm on the opposite side of the scale. I'm like a size four five. So every ring she puts on just falls off and lands yeah, on the ground. But that's why I don't have my rings on right now because all of my when my hands get cold, my rings don't fit. Um so yeah, so we're kind of on opposite sides. <laughs> wow. But it was unbelievable. It was yeah. I I thought, oh my god, what are we gonna do? And then there was one And they're talking to me like I'm some kind of a mutant or whatever. <laughs> no nobody has hands that big. Yeah. yeah, and somebody said that there's like silicone silicone rings now and stuff. Well, like the elasticized stuff that yeah. you can wear, um, either for just as your ring or just as a substitute. They were saying, yeah. well, we could get you a, a substitute fake ring to wear until we but until the elves that. can make your real ring <laughs> that, by hand. That, or they couldn't get it. We in couldn't find time. a silicone. Yeah, whatever. You it know, was, it was like it was insane. And I thought, okay, well, maybe our option is I get a ring and he doesn't. And, I mean, half the time he's not going to be wearing his anyway. Well, I don't know. Because of his work. She doesn't understand that when you when you have a job where you work with your hands, sometimes you cannot always wear a wedding ring. So, for example, although it will be on my left hand, um, when I'm cleaning upholstery, quite often you have to shove your hand in between cushions and things. And you run the risk of your ring getting caught on something or if you're cleaning a, an automobile or a boat where you got to have your arm in, in a tight space it could could be a problem i don't know i'm going to try it and see uh back in my days when i worked in a factory if you worked around any of the machinery you were not allowed yeah. to wear your wedding rings i remember the women were just screaming mad that it was against company policy to have a ring on your finger if you're working around machinery yeah, you'd rather have your finger ripped well off. they showed us yeah. some lovely videos from workers compensation of people that literally had their fingers torn off because they got caught in the, in the wrong part of a machine or whatever Common so sense prevails you know, that like... sort of thing in my profession not likely but it is not unlikely that it could get caught in somebody's furniture or something where now you've, you're stuck or you don't want to have to cut the furniture to get your ring out and and cause some damage to their stuff so i get that you know. i get that but i also know that when he gets home he'll forget to put it on but everybody knows i'm married i tell everybody i've got that yeah. people see me they go i can tell you're married but it's a real because nice because i walk hunched over like this no. <laughs> <laughs> okay 
So anyways, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a little video clip of us uh, trying to find a ring for George. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll add it to this video. Eh? Yeah, I'll just add yeah, it Yeah, we'll just end. edit this and you'll, you'll see yeah. this at the end. Um, so. I can't show you the actual rings because they're being sized right now. But when they come in on May 6th, I think yeah, it's... 6th or 5th. Yeah. They have to be made in the down in the mines by the elves. <laughs> uh, from Lord of the Rings, you got to make them special. Uh, uh, so, anyways, once they get in, then I will show them to you guys. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is our so. short little video that now says twenty-five minutes yeah. and thirty-two seconds. <laughs> it's because he doesn't stop talking. Okay, I'll shut up now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye, bye. guys. Hi Yarnabees. Hi Yarnabees. So today we're at the mall and we are going to go and pick up our wedding bands. Um, obviously you're going to be adding this to our announcement video. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this was not pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. out at the first one because apparently these are too big <laughs> which is why I can't crochet I have to knit. <laughs> so we're off looking at another jewelry store. Let's go. Well that was an adventure. <laughs> uh, note to self if you need to get your wedding rings, get them far in advance. And don't marry a guy with super huge hands. George's finger was a size 14? 14. 14. They don't carry anything over a size 10. So we had to have it special ordered and everybody kept telling us that... Is he going to unlock the door for me? <laughs> Um, everybody kept telling us that they couldn't get the ring here in time because they need to send it away to the <laughs> top secret facility so the elves can work on the ring <laughs> and yeah get it ready so yeah so now this lady we had given had, up hope pretty yeah, much we pretty much gave up hope we thought you know what okay we're just gonna have to find something for George to wear on the wedding day and uh, and then order his ring for later. Can you turn that off for copyright? Um, so, oops, hang on guys, I'm trying to put my seatbelt on. Um, so anyways, we went to People's Jewelers, they couldn't help us. We went to Michael Hill Jewelers, we couldn't, they, they couldn't help us. And then we ended up at Paris Jewelers. Paris Jewelers. Shout out to Paris Jewelers. The girl that helped us was amazing. And totally different. Like everybody else was, we can't do this for you. Yeah. We wish we could, but we can't do this for you was kind of the attitude. Yeah. Whereas this girl Watch was, where you're going. whatever you need, I'm going to make sure that we can do that for you. Yeah. Which, which is very refreshing. Yeah. In today's world where everything is an excuse and supply chain and you know there's always a reason why you can't get what you want yeah whereas this girl it was like no of course we can get what you yeah. want and we're gonna get it for you on time and i personally am gonna make sure yeah that this happens for you yeah and she's just a young girl like she looks like she's in her 20s but she certainly seems like she she knows her job and uh yeah yeah, no, it's a, a totally different vibe from her within the oh, first yeah. 30 seconds compared to yeah. everybody else. I mean, it's not like we're not spending some money here. We're buying two wedding rings. That's a pretty big purchase. Yeah. Um, 
you know so yeah yeah it was it was quite the experience you know <clears throat> and she was really nice like she was laughing with George and you know I mean you know George right because I'm usually pretty shy and I don't really like to talk to people <laughs> so he's like making jokes and he's you know and she's laughing and she's you know and she was it was genuine you know she wasn't just laughing to because to make you know, the sale yeah you know, to make the sale like she was actually genuinely um, like even when George left to go to the washroom and I was finishing with the paying up and everything because we had to do both the rings separately for some reason but uh, you know she said to me she says he's really happy <laughs> and I said yeah I said you know he's very excitable about this he's telling everybody that we're getting married and uh and I'm, I hope I'm, they're gonna donate that's why i'm yeah, telling everybody yeah, but, no. um <laughs> but, but you know it's like i mean i'm i'm pretty hush hush about it right like i'm i don't know like she's kind of ashamed i am not i think it's because it's my third go around <laughs> third time's a charm and i'm just kind of like yeah okay <laughs> you know i just want to get get it done and and George is this, his second time, so he's all like, hey. But I only change him every 35 years or so. so Sandy's <laughs> got 35 years to go still. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I didn't know that I was such a freak of nature. But, uh, you know, I'm not a small person, but uh, there's people bigger than I am. But I guess I got... You know, you know what they say. Yeah, look at this. Look, look at the size. You know size what they of say, go girls. Big hands, oh, big stop. Heart. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Just watch the road. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so um, if you yeah, want to so find the was... right man, look at the size of his oh, hands. Stop it. Oh my God. Look at how thick his wrists are. Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go because he's getting out of control now. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was an experience. It was an experience. So. Yeah, it wasn't the five minutes in and out of the jewelry store. I really thought this was going to be an We easy went purchase. to four different stores and we thought we'd have to go to another part of town to go to yeah. yet another store. And then we're even going to go to Sandy's favorite metaphysical store. Where yeah. they could find me a ring that probably could open the Dragon's Gate and uh, <laughs> have magical powers, but may or may not be my size or come on time. So yeah. So anyway, <laughs> but yeah. So that's done. Uh, we can't show them to you because well, we don't have them yet. But uh, I'll be sure to make sure that you guys see it. So um, anyway, okay. So. Onward. And they were very expensive, so please send money to... No, oh. stop! Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, we're <laughs> going now. Okay, talk to you guys in a bit. Bye, guys.